Hello and welcome back. We now discuss one very important question from exercise 2.3 that is question number 8. Now we have been given matrix A with elements 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2 and 2, 2, 1. We have to show that A square minus 4A is a scalar matrix. So first we obtain A square minus 4A. In this, we first obtain a square. Now, how do we obtain a square? a square is nothing but matrix a times itself. That is a into a. So, we have to multiply matrix a with itself. So, matrix a is 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. Multiply it by itself. That is 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. Now, we multiply the two matrices. Multiplying rows with the corresponding columns, we get r1 into c1 gives 1 plus 4 plus 4 then r1 into c2 will be 2 plus 2 plus 4 r1 c3 will be 2 plus 4 plus 2 now moving to r2 r2 into c1 will be 2 plus 2 plus 4 and R2 C2 will be 4 plus 1 plus 4. Then R2 C3 will be 4 plus 2 plus 2. Next R3. R3 into C1 will be 2 plus 4 plus 2. Then R3 C2 will be 4 plus 2 plus 2. And R3, C3 will be 4 plus 4 plus 1. So we add up all these values and we get A square as 9, 8, 8, 8, 9, 8, 8, 8, 9. So remember to obtain A square, we multiply the matrix A by itself. We don't square it, right? That's like normal numbers we square, we don't do that over here. So A square is obtained by multiplying A with itself. So we have obtained a square. Next we obtain 4 times a. So 4 times matrix a. That is 4 times 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. Now performing the scalar multiplication, we get 4, 8, 8, the first row. Then 4, 2 is 8. Then 4, then 8. So 8, 4, 8. And 4 multiplied by the third row. So it will be 8, 8, 4. So that is our 3. So we have obtained a square, we have obtained 4a, now we subtract the two matrices. So this is matrix a square, this is matrix 4a, now we subtract the corresponding elements. So 9 minus 4, 8 minus 8, 8 minus 8, that is the first row. 8 minus 8, 9 minus 4, 8 minus 8, that is the second row. Then 8 minus 8, 8 minus 8 and 9 minus 4, that is the third row. So here we obtain 5, this will be 0, 0. Next will be 0, 5, 0 and the last row is 0, 0, 5. Now if you observe a square minus 4a is a square matrix with diagonal elements being identical. See the diagonal elements are identical, all are 5 and the non-diagonal elements, right? The remaining non-diagonal elements are all 0. So therefore we could say a square minus 4a is a scalar matrix. Remember it's a square matrix. Diagonal elements being identical and non-diagonal elements being 0. So therefore a square minus 4a is a scalar matrix. Like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.